So in this video, we're going to talk about radians. Radians is just another way that you can measure um, angles. You're probably used to measuring angles in degrees and just a little history on that. Um, degrees possibly started with the Babylonians around 1500 BC. They're the ones who first divided in a circle into 360 degrees. Um, it was probably because they used 60 digits instead of 10, so 360 is a good multiple of uh, 60. Um, also in Persian calendars, some of these did like a 360 days in a year, which we know now is 365, but it's close. It's like you, you move like, like the earth moves approximately one degree around the sun every 360 or 365 days. So anyway, um, degrees have been around for a while, but in around 1714, a guy named Roger Coates came up with radians, which is, again, just another way to measure an angle. Um, this was um, created by mathematicians because it works out pretty conveniently for some different math problems, as you'll see. So a radian is exactly what it sounds like. It's the radius. So like if I picked up the radius and I kind of just laid it across the circle, like bent it around the circle, the angle that it creates is one radian. It's approximately 57.2958 degrees if you wanted to convert between the two. But again, it's what you get if you pick up the radius and you wrap it around the circle. The angle that that creates is one radian. Um, so, just to be clear here, um, you can use either. It's like measuring in something with the metric system versus like our standard system. So like this, you can do like inches or centimeters. It's pretty much the same thing here, just with angles. Let me show you a little demo of this. So here's one radian. Again, just pick up the radius and just lay it across the circle. The angle that it creates is one radian. Or, let me scroll down a bit. Here's another demo. If I go all the way around the circle, halfway around the circle is actually pi radians, 3.14. Let me show you that one more time. All right. So let's talk about why that is the case. So there's 360 degrees in a full circle, but if I wanna know the full circle in radians, what would that be? So think about the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is two pi r. Basically, it's the radius times two pi. So if I wanna go around the circle radius times, I can go around the circle two pi, because that's two pi times the radius. So like, here's a radius, here's a radius, here's a radius, and then I have a little bit left, and then I would have another radius, 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 oops, radius, and a little bit left. So basically, you can go around the circle two pi if you're talking about radians. And again, that's because the circumference is two pi times the radius. Um, so, all that being said, if you kind of want to convert between the two, this is a good place to start. 360 degrees is 2 pi in radians. So if you want to go all the way around the circle, it's 2 pi. So if you just want to go half the circle, it's just 1 pi. If you only want a quarter of the circle, it's half pi. Or pi over 2. If you want to do like three-fourths of the circle, that would be three-fourths pi, or three pi over four. So these are just a couple common conversions, like 90 degrees, and these should all have degrees on them. 90 degrees is pi over two, zero degrees, or 360 degrees are both equal to two pi in radians, and so on. When you get into a pre-calculus class, you'll, do many, you'll use many more of these conversions. 
This is called the unit circle and we're not going to get there quite yet, but basically the unit circle works in both degree measures all the way around to 360 and it works in radians all the way around to 2 pi. Okay, I just want to clarify that angle measures stay the same even if the circle grows. This works in both degrees and radians. So let's say this right here, uh, the length of AB, this arc, is 4.69, and the length of PA, the radius, is 4.69. That would make this angle one radian. Because, like, that arc length is literally equal to the radius, and so this makes one radian. That doesn't change if the circle gets bigger, because if the arc gets bigger, then the radius gets bigger. So still, if I divide these, it's now 8.35 and 8.35, this angle is still just one radian. Same thing if it gets bigger. And the same thing applies in degrees, too. So this would be like about 53 or whatever degrees. Even if the circle gets bigger, that degree will stay the same. I know that like this angle looks bigger than this angle because it has a bigger area as a triangle, but the angle itself stays the same because like this out of 360 is still the same as this out of 360. So proportionally it stays the same. All right, so keeping that in mind, let's talk about a few radian problems here. So if arc AB is five feet and radius PB is also five feet, then what is this angle in radians? Well, the length of that arc literally equals the radius. So, and remember, one radian is supposed to be how far the radius can go when you pick it up and you put it along the circle. Like, how many radians is this? It would just be one radian. If I went 10, and I did an arc of 10, that would be two radians because it's two radiuses across the circle. What if we had the arc be 4.9 feet and the radius is still five? What do you think this angle would be in radians? Well, it would be slightly less than one radian. It would be like 0.9 something because it's not quite a radius. Or if the arc was 5.1, it would be slightly bigger than one radian. Basically what you do is you just take the arc and divide it by the radius. So if you want that as a formula, here it is. To find an angle in radians, just take the arc length and divide it by the radius because that will tell you how many radiuses it can go. So here's an example. Say you have an arc length of seven centimeters and the radius of the circle is two centimeters. What's the arc measure in radians? So again, you just divide. The arc length was seven centimeters. Divide it by the radius, two centimeters, and that's 3.5 in radians. So this is 3.5. Or we can also use this to find arc length and sector area like we've been doing in the past. So if I want to find sector area, which is the area of this slice of the circle, I'm going to take the whole area of the circle and then just take the piece that I want. So do pi r squared, which is the whole area of the circle, times, and in the past we've been doing theta out of 360 because this was the degrees out of the total degrees. However, this problem didn't give me the angle in degrees. It gave it to me in radians. I know for a couple reasons. One, if they give you the angle in degrees, it should say degrees. So it would be like 170 degrees, and it should say degrees. So if there's no degrees written, it's probably in radians. Also, if there's a pi in it, it's probably in radians. So the angle is 3 pi over 5. So that's my angle. But it's not out of 360 because 360 was the degrees. We were taking the arc measure divided by the total degrees in the circle. If I want this to be in radians, 
What is the total circle in radians? Well, that's what we talked about before. It's 2 pi is the full circle. So this time, instead of doing out of 360, we'll do out of 2 pi. So let's fill stuff in. I've got pi times the radius squared, and then times 3 pi over 5 out of 2 pi. I know there's a lot going on here, but let's simplify some stuff. I'm going to extend that. So this is um, pi and pi cancel out. Then I've got 9 on top and 2 on the bottom. And then I've got 3 times 3 pi over 5. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and make this 27 pi over 5. And then it's divided by 2, which this is dividing by fractions, so it's keep change flip, keep the 27 pi over 5, change this to multiplication, and flip 2 to be 1 half, which is now 5 times 2 is 10. Uh, if you want to get a decimal out, you can. I'm just going to leave it because that's as simplified as it goes. So the sector area is 27 pi over 10 and that would be in centimeters squared. All right, let's try another one like that. So if the radius is 10 and the angle is 1.2 and that's in radians, what's the length of the arc intercepted by that angle? So this is arc length, not sector area. It's pretty much the same idea though. Just take the whole circumference and then just take the percentage that you want. So I know the whole circumference is 2 pi r, which in this case is 10, so 2 pi times 10. But I only want 1.2 radians out of the total 2 pi radians. So when we multiply all this out, the 2's cancel, the pi's cancel, and then I just have 10 times 1.2 which would be uh, 12. All right, and I think that's all. So remember, radians is just another way to measure the angle um, rather than degrees.